contest. And with the judge's decision here, it's Mr. Harl Chaplin. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to our judges' scorecards. Judge Cartley scores this bout 49 46. Judge Leatherby scores this bout 50 43. And Judge Ransom scores this bout 49 43. In favor of your winner, by way of unanimous decision. And If this young man is not wearing a pair of black and white UFC gloves in a few months' time, maybe a little bit of time off to reflect. You know, I don't think after the after his new uh, or after his hand surgery um, and that, that uh, uh, time away from the cage, I don't think he wants time off. I think he's enjoyed every last bit of that there tonight, and I think he'll be itching to go again in the future. I mean, whatever happens. It's been an ab absolute pleasure and privilege to be here for Paul Hughes's incredible Cage Warriors career. And if that is indeed the last time we see him in the famous yellow gloves, what a way to go out, what a way to end your run. And of course, we must think of Jordan Vichenik too, the former champion. Where he goes from here, that's certainly going to be a decision to be made in the future with his team, his family, his loved ones. Both these men, though, will be able to look back and say that they were two halves of the biggest rematch in Cage Warriors history, and they did take part in one of the greatest Cage Warriors title fights of all time. And I got the call. Sorry, Dan Strauss. Hope you feel better. You're a savage, my friend. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice here, Brad. I'm trying to be nice. What a night here at the Indigo. We saw Kaylin Lockrun defeat Luke Shanks in our opening bout. Maybe been lacked up. Back on forming Cage Warriors. Modestus Pekowskis return. He's back to winning ways. James Sheehan with a hard fought victory over Jamie Richardson. And who could forget? 25 insane minutes of action to unify the Cage Warriors.